So for our project, we're going to be working on something called contour lines. Repeat after me. Contour lines. Now there are two ways to draw a contour. Something called a blind contour and a regular contour. Is a contour line a very realistic form of art? No, because we're not trying to capture something like it looks in real life. We're trying to capture the outline of it. The trick to a contour line is to never pick up your pencil when drawing it. So if I was going to draw a contour line of one of our friends in this class, I would look at them. And instead of looking at my paper, I would look at them. You're going to be looking at a self-portrait mirror. I would look at them, Cammie, stare at me for a minute. All right, so I'm going to start with the outside of Cammie's face. If you notice, I'm only looking at Cammie. Now I'm going to give Cammie a nose, give Cammie's eyebrow. Am I ever stopping my pencil? No. There's one eye for Cammy. Maybe this is where another eye should be. Now she has a nice little smile. Now I gotta get to her ears. Other ear, and then I gotta give her some hair because she has some hair. And that looks just like Cammy, doesn't it? Not exactly, but that's what we're going for. Now, if I was just doing a contour one, I would look at Cammy for a little bit, and then I would look at my paper for a little bit and then I would look at my paper. We're going to watch a quick little video and we're going to take a look at an artist. So let's start by looking at this artist. These are sort of what our finished projects are going to look like. Now you can see again we're not going for realism and you can see that these people have sort of connected all these lines and then used two colors, repeat after me, <clears throat> red and blue patterns will emphasize this project. Good job. This, <clears throat> this project is based on an artist named Jean Dubé. He was French. Here's a look at how some students did this. So here is the start. Then they've outlined it with a black marker. Then we've added in some things so that we've connected our lines. And then they've added in those red and blue patterns. And when they're done, they look very cool, almost like something you would see on like a t-shirt, like a graphic design. We're gonna watch one more quick video about creating these contour drawings. And then we're gonna do some practice drawings today. Capiche? You're not too hungry after this. We have mirrors, we'll be looking at ourselves. And we're not going to cover our hands. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to get to practicing. 